So, here we are. The end of the journey. To be honest, I thought I wasn't going to make it. To be honest, I thought what was left of me would remain in the jungle as some sort of memorial to futility and hopelessness and folly. When I said yes to the jungle, I wasn't in my right mind. I thought that it would make me grow as a person. I thought there would be spiritual and personal development as part of the journey. But it was the opposite. My mental, physical, emotional and spiritual well-being has been completely destroyed. And I am just glad that I survived so that I can blow the lid on this entire story. So let's start with this lid. They told us we could talk about our journey. They told us we could talk about challenging experiences. They even gave us a suggestion for speech tiles, like the gates to hell. How right they were. Did they know, I wonder? The fact of the matter is, I succumbed to a wealth of illness and accident and harm in the jungle. There was no growth there. I went backwards. The first thing that happened to me is I developed a very serious pain in my left big toe. I first noticed it while I was running through the jungle, trying to escape from other campmates. Now, there are medical experts who might tell you that that's from a bunion, but that's not true. What actually happened to me is I contracted tolio in the jungle. That's right, tolio in my left foot. My left big toe is never going to be the same again. Gone are the days when I will be able to wear heels of any colour, not to mind red. That's another speech. But if you think that tolio is bad, that's only the very start of my pain. The next thing that happened is I was climbing trees, trying to escape from crocodiles and probably other campmates, when I realised that my knees just weren't functioning as they should. Now, my mother always used to say, mocking is catching when I would mock my grandmother and her arthritic knees while she was trying to get up from a chair. But that's not the cause of my pain. That would be a ridiculous thing to leave anybody in a will. Shoddy knees. The cause of my pain was I actually caught a severe dose of measles while I was in the jungle. Measles, that's right. My knees are so bad that my orthopaedic surgeon is demanding I show up to hospital in a couple of weeks to get them both replaced. For legal reasons, I had a model made of the x-ray of my right kneecap. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Look, my right kneecap is screaming all of the time. Try defending that in court. I challenge you. On the upside, though, the surgeon's nurse did offer to buy my entire collection of high heels. I'm never going to need them again, am I? No. She's not going to get the red ones. But look, the dust is gathering them already. That's another speech, though. With the money I get from selling my shoe collection, I should be able to pimp my walker on a regular basis. But if you think that tolio and measles are bad, that's nothing compared to what happened to my shoulders in the jungle. I spent so much time 
ducking and diving and hunching down and trying to stay out of the way of other campmates and ant and deck and various other wild animals, then my shoulders have been destroyed. They are now diagnosed as boned and rolled. They're never, they're never going to be useful to me again. In fact, right now at this moment, they're simply held together with string. Look. Red string for cork, obviously. But most of the time, I just walk around like this. You have no idea of the effort it is costing me to simply raise my hands to get the emotion of my distress across to you right now. The bright light at the end of this particular tunnel, though, is that my orthopaedic surgeon has said that he can recreate some viability and mobility in my shoulders when he's doing my knees. And he has offered to transplant my left big toe and my useless knees into my shoulders to give me some sort of structure and movement. I was a bit dubious, but then I jumped at the chance. Not physically, obviously. Mentally and emotionally, though, I jumped at the chance because I realised that I will still be able to play with my grandchildren in the future. Because from now on, my head, shoulders, knees and toes will all be in the same place. But if you think that tolio and nasals and boned and rolled shoulders are bad, the worst possible thing happened while I was in the jungle and unable to defend him. My father's spirit was poured into a bottle. With me not there to stop it, he was completely vulnerable. And now I have to go through every single one of these bottles to find my dada. And as a result, my liver is destroyed. But I'm not going to stop searching for my dada because of those people in the jungle. My life is ruined. I am mentally, physically, spiritually and emotionally wrecked because of this experience. And there's no compensating me for that, despite the legal battle I am prepared to fight right now. There is no legitimate compensation. But it is possible that my soul could be soothed by a crown. The crown of queen of the jungle. But that is up to you. Cheers. Do the right thing.